Water heater. A water heater usually fully automatic has a storage tank with one or more electric heating elements and with operating and safety controls. Edwin Drood, a Norwegian mechanical engineer, was the inventor of the automatic storage water heater in 1889. A water heater consists of the following parts. A heavy inner steel tank that holds the hot water, insulation surrounding the tank, a dip tube to let cold water into the tank, a pipe to let hot water out of the tank, a thermostat to control the temperature of the water inside the tank, heating elements to heat the water, a drain valve that allows you to drain the tank to replace the elements or move the tank, a pressure relief valve, a sacrificial anode rod to help keep the steel tank from corroding. The cold water supply line connects to the water heater, typically on top of the appliance. Instead of dumping the water on top of the hot water in the tank, a dip tube carries the cold water down to the bottom of the tank. The outbound hot water line takes the water off the top of the tank. That way, when hot water is drawn out, it is at full temperature. Only after most of the hot water has been used do you start to get the hot and cold water mix. When you open a hot water tap, the water pressure from the cold water supply line pushes the water out of the water heater and refills the tank with cold water. As cold water enters the tank, the thermostat senses the lower temperature and triggers the heating mechanism. The thermostat controls the temperature of the water inside the tank. Normally, you can set the temperature between 120 and 180 degrees Fahrenheit. It is generally recommended that you keep the temperatures between 120 to 140 degrees Fahrenheit, especially if there are children living in the house to prevent scalding. It also saves energy.